Hi, everyone. I'm Drew Bradstock, and I lead product management for Kubernetes at Google. And I'm very excited to be joining all of you for LucidWorks Activate Conference today. Now, LucidWorks and Google actually have a long history of working together and on Kubernetes in particular. What we thought would be super interesting to share with you what they've done to optimize their own platform to get the best performance for all of you and how you can benefit. With that, let's get started. So first of all, as you grow your retail business, there's a lot of challenges to scale up and get success. You may be starting very early with your own brand, building and adding support for new offerings, and then starting to build scalable applications to actually support all your success. From there, hopefully, you're building for global expansion and looking at how you can do more customizations for your customers. Now, the new wrinkle, and what's definitely coming up a lot these days, is how do you handle flash sales scale? This is the ones that burst way up and come back down. If you can't handle it, you've missed a lot of revenue, and your own customers are going to be very unhappy. And finally, how do you start customizing for global markets? So I'm Canadian, and uh, it's pretty similar to the US, but there are differences. If you don't optimize for them, you can often miss out. Now, let's look at the other side of the coin. What's happening to your platform teams, and how do you handle this? It's very much the same sort of process build your own platform, start support for new dev teams, look at new workload scale, add new applications, add new teams, expand regionally, and the obligatory Canadian reference, it's hopefully a hockey stick growth globally. Now, the challenge with all this is as you scale up, your platform support costs are going up and up and up, both infra as well as people, and the exact same time your developer philosophy is going down. Now, you probably don't want this. You very much want the reverse. So let's walk through how we can help you on that. As people are modernizing, we've really seen the containers are the right modern of compute. Now, one of the main reasons is it helps your developers be far more productive and a lot quicker in terms of delivery. As part of this, Kubernetes and serverless, either Google Kubernetes Engine or our serverless offering Cloud Run, are key to this because it provides a really easy platform to build on the containers. And lastly, people look. Why Google? Why would we choose Google Cloud? At our heart, we are container first, not just because we created Kubernetes, but because we've made sure to optimize all our systems so it runs ideally with containers. What did LucidWorks need for all its customers? Because they've gone through their own modernization journey to make sure that their systems run incredibly well for all of you. First of all is high availability. Their systems and all the work they do for you have to be mission critical and up all the time, no matter what. So this needs to be highly available, not just in the Americas, but all over the globe. Secondly, they need to be able to handle any scale that you can throw at them, either up or down. And the down's becoming more and more important because you don't want to just scale all the way up to those Black Friday, Cyber Monday levels and not scale down because cost control, both for you, LucidWorks, and for Google really matters these days. And this is one of the key things they looked at so that they can pass it on to you. Next is reliability and availability. You know it's not just highly available globally, but it can't go down at any point, and they need to be able to meet your needs and scale no matter where those peaks are coming from. I think one key thing, and we really stress on this as we work together, is how do they innovate faster and provide more personalization to all of you through their own offering? And this means that their developers have to be responding a lot quicker. And last is flexibility. These markets do not remain still. Every quarter can be quite different. And this is why they needed a very fast path to be able to adapt their own applications and give their developers the tools to be able to do this. Now, you can literally take LucidWorks and put your own name on top of this, because this really is fundamental needs for retail and remaining competitive, both with the behemoths and a lot of the nimble, smaller players are looking at making their own markets. So why GKE and why Kubernetes? Fundamental for us is we provide global scale that LucidWorks could depend on. We can scale to over 15,000 nodes, which literally means the largest workloads can run out no matter what, largest commerce or the largest batch and analysis roles. And we've invested in this so that you don't have to worry about it. You can just know that no matter how much your demand goes up, and hopefully it's really high this season, uh, GKE as well as LucidWorks can be able to handle that. Second is that, building a scalable platform, your own platform cost shouldn't go up in line with how much resources you're using. So we've put a lot of the Google magic into driving things down and make it a lot simpler. 
And from there, we've looked at AI ML, so you can leverage GPUs and TPUs to do whatever sort of analysis you have. And finally, a lot of work in security, such that you're not on the front page of the news, Lucid works, and we aren't either, because no one wants a breach, and that level of dependency is critical. So as we work with Lucidworks, we needed to make sure that we were looking at the demands of retail. First, how do we provide battle-tested and hardened configurations so that all of you and them didn't have to do a lot of the work, instead could benefit from the years and years of experience running millions of clusters with Google Kubernetes Engine? Second is what do we do to provide a very scalable infrastructure, both up and down, right? The hands do go up and down, uh, such that they can handle flash sales or even the changing needs of AI, which can go up and then be very, very low for a long period of time. I think key to this is also faster time to production, such that all these changes Lucidworks is constantly making in their application or you're making in yours can occur much quicker. Now, just to stress on security, this is critical and one area that we've done a great deal of work together, and I highly recommend you spending a lot of time on it too. First of all, Google Kubernetes Engine and cloud is hardened by default. And I think this is one of the biggest advantages to GKE in that our actual images have a huge amount of security work done in it all the time. Not just up front, but constantly being updated, constantly scanned for uh, issues with it, which is more and more important as you see these large scale breaches, because that reputational damage is really hard to recover from and also has a huge impact to your own users and customers as well. From there, we've looked at what additional opportunities do we have for locking down the nodes even further? And last, how do we take all that patching upgrade such that Google does it so Lucidworks can concentrate on their own security, not having to worry about Kubernetes? And it comes back to that day two. How do we make sure as you scale up, your platform costs remain the same, or hopefully get the Roman thumbs down without the whole lion reference? So one, is we can get the best from both Google and Lucidworks experience with Kubernetes, such that it's constantly monitored by us and also their own platform teams, such that it, their own platform means that it's scalable, doesn't need as many people, and that helps all of you. Second is staying up to date is critical. I know it's been tough with everything that's gone in the last couple of years to keep your systems current, and people have really looked at how to push off upgrades and risk across all the systems. That eventually can really catch up to you, especially in security. And that's why we've worked on automating a lot of this. And last is how do we control costs and make sure they're aligned with what's actually happening? So you're not spending more than you need to, but still meeting your own customer needs. And Lucid Works is making yours. So how do we bring this all together? This is GK Autopilot. This is taking all that goodness we spoke about and bringing it together into a managed Kubernetes offering, managed by us, such that you don't have to worry about the scaling or the upgrades, or scaling down, and our own SREs actually support this behind the scenes. This is still GK, same standard uh, Kubernetes, but we brought all this into one offering such that you can get going on Kubernetes really quickly, even at large retail scale, without a lot of Kubernetes experience, and that's key. So let's actually walk through a cool example where GK is handling that huge scale that I didn't realize when I played the game. So way back in 2018, uh, Google Doodles, which are a lot of fun, released a Halloween game, which is a little appropriate as we approach the spooky season. And this actually ran for a short period of time, but at peak had 65, uh, 65 million, I almost said 65,000 users on it, and it didn't even flinch. This is something that just scaled up on GK no matter how much of demand was thrown at it, and also allows us to scale down as usage patterns varied all around the globe because this was global. I think this is very pertinent because you never know the surges. We didn't even find out about it, that the team was using GK till long afterwards because it actually went that smoothly. Now, not all stories do, so I, I don't want to imply everything's perfect all the time, but this is that level of partnership we've done with Lucidworks to make sure they can grow and handle any peak that you can throw at them. So I think as we bring this together, how does this actually apply to you? I think one, is look towards where those spikes are going to occur and where that peak area is for you of where your baseline is for the capacity. Look at Black Friday, Cyber Monday. There's no way you want to risk a last minute scale up, but you certainly don't want to be having capacity at that very peak all the time. So this is one area where GKE and Lucidworks does a really good job. And I would highly encourage you to take a look at GKE because of the fact 
that we can handle that spike and really lower that baseline uh, across the board. I think secondly, and the advice I give is that flash sales are very, very different. Same with the level of customization your own customers now expect. And we've seen a lot of different partners in commerce and retail and other in, uh, industries. You're looking at enterprise search and AI customizations where they are adjusting their baseline, but their platform teams struggle with this. So I would suggest work with Lucidworks on how they can do it. Um, and that's why you're here for the conference, uh, conference, which is fabulous. But also look at what your offering of Kubernetes you're using can actually handle it without a lot of complexity. So what did Lucidworks actually do with this? I think key was one, they've looked at how do they ramp up incredibly quickly and they leverage GK such that they can deploy their apps much easily, which benefits with a more scalable, fast, nimble platform for all of you. Second, not just getting the apps out there in any region around the globe, they've also looked at how do they improve their own systems such that they can build, push, and deploy a lot quicker and make the developers a lot more nimble. And this is through a lot of advanced CI, CD. And that is also how you retain really good developers as well, which is why Lucidworks got uh, or has such a great team. So I think the other thing is that, look, changes are going to happen a lot, right? You don't want changes coming into BFCM, but there's definitely going to be a point where you're going to have to auto-deploy, and then the change comes in again and again and again. Hopefully, because either Lucidworks or yourselves are being very nimble and improving your apps, Sometimes it can be bug fixes too, but the reality is GKE allows you to do this with your CI CD systems very, very quickly and very safely such you can traffic split and do a lot of cool things such that you can test it before you run into the redeployments of the bugs. But this is one key thing I think I've seen with the Lucidworks team on how fast they can get changes to market, which allows them to serve you a lot better. And lastly is that global scale. So let's say you've got growth within Canada. Google Cloud has regions, a couple of them, in Toronto, Montreal, covers the French and the English parts of the country. Um, but there's not a French cloud, to be clear. But Lucidworks being able to tap in the fact that they can actually scale up no matter where your demand is and handle this easily because GKE is ubiquitous around the globe and allows them to scale no matter what region you want your customers uh, to be served from. And this is a really key bit. So if you look at it across the board, they use GKE to look at fast ramp up, faster development, and then be able to scale to whatever the needs are that you are asking of them. So with that, I wanted to thank you on behalf of Lucidworks, uh, Google, as well as all of the GK users out there. My name's Drew Bradstock, and I look forward to chatting with all of you with any questions you have. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.